El Segundo has a long, rich history of aviation and aerospace, with companies like Boeing, Northern Grumman, Los Angeles Air Force Base, and the LAX International Airport calling our city home. Tucked away in a former luxury airport terminal here at LAX is the Flight Path Museum, an organization dedicated to sharing and preserving the history of flying. Flight 381, request permission for landing. The area surrounding uh, LAX and El Segundo through many years you know, has been big on aviation, Hughes Aircraft and Northrop Grumman. So a lot of employees live and work in this area. So uh, Flight Path was actually founded in 1995. And it wasn't until um, 2002 they started having discussions with uh, Los Angeles World Airports about having a museum. And uh, fortunately for us, uh, this Imperial Terminal was dormant and LAX agreed that it would be great to have an Aviation Aerospace Museum here. And that's how it got started. This space used to be a terminal for, for flights that several carriers used to fly out of here, including MGM Grand Air. And um, there was a need for an aviation museum, and not only an aviation museum, but a learning center. Uh, this museum is also a learning center, and this is a great space for people who want to get into aviation. It's the only museum of its kind that I'm aware of that is located on the tarmac, on the runway of a major airport like this. You will not get any better views than right here at, at Los Angeles International. You're up close and personal with the aircraft. Uh, it's really well organized. Uh, as I said, everything has been donated by individual flight attendants, pilots, folks in the, in the industry. And now this is a little gem here in Los Angeles, a museum that not many people know about. I'm a former TWA flight attendant, so um, I've made donations of TWA memorabilia and uh, some of my uniforms. Um, as well. I started with TWA in 1972. Our uniforms were designed by Valentino and so I mean I just felt so excited as a, as a new flight attendant to be in such a fabulous outfit. Um, this is uh, the plum, I wore the plum uh, uniform as well as the uh, what they called a safari dress. So it certainly was a fun time to, uh, you know, the designer era. And so for 30 years, I got to travel all over the world and throughout this country, and, um, and I still do that today as a retiree. That's why I'm so fascinated and passionate about working here at Flight Path, um, and uh, to, to let people know and to educate them about the aviation and aerospace industry. The museum not only has a treasure trove of artifacts, but also houses a research library, a flight simulator training program, Folks who are facing some wind turbulence, please fasten your seatbelts. Provides scholarships for aviation and aerospace students, and also has space for event rentals. The museum is important to many people, um, and they have very different reasons for coming here. One is certainly curiosity. Some people have never been on an airplane. Um, some people are starting their careers and want to know more. Um, people from El Segundo, for instance, are usually fairly aware um, of, the, of the museum. So there's uh, a 360 degree circle of different reasons why people come. And the takeaway varies to each individual. One story I would like to, to just highlight. I was here about mm, last summer, we had just reopened after the pandemic. And I was standing quietly and there were about maybe five or six 15 to 16 year old guys who happened to come in and they stood at the picture window and they could name every single type of aircraft. And I stood back with a smile and it was very heartwarming because I thought, gosh, there is an interest in all of this. They are really excited about it and they will aspire to that. And that's a great gift to encourage people to become involved in aviation. 
I mean, for me, there's nothing cooler than an airplane. I think it really highlights the achievement of, of humans and what we could do. You know, we, we first got in the air, what, the early 1900s? By the end of the 1960s, we made it to the moon. I mean, how cool is that? And now we spend most of our lives uh, in, I spend most of my life in and around an airport. You know, you want to get anywhere, you get in an airplane. So, I just think it's cool. Yeah, it's an airplane. It's a cool place. I mean, it's cool that you could sit here and see the runway, right? And see all the planes that are right here. So it's important to know where you came from, right? For the future. So aerospace and space, same thing, right? Physics, you know, aerodynamics. So to me, it's like one and the same, just different domain, right? But I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff happening in space. So this is also a good place to see that, right? For, for the past, I just went in the room over there, which is really cool and they have uh, astronaut uniforms, a bunch of models of the Apollo mission, so pretty cool. One of the best ways to find out more is on our website, and it, everything is in there about admission. We are now open, effective July, we've started opening on Fridays as well, between 12 to 4, and we're open Saturdays 12 to 4. We are a volunteer-based organization, and to that end, if there's anyone that's interested in volunteering here at the museum, We'd love to have them come and learn about it because we are in, in desperate need of volunteers. We're only $5, so, and we have discounts for children, discounts for seniors, and discounts for military and also airline and aviation personnel. Thanks for flying with us. Have a great day. Whether you're considering a career in aviation or just want to see the airplanes up close, the Flight Path Museum at LAX is a destination you don't want to miss. For El Segundo Media, I'm Natasia Gascon.